Free Science Lessons Chromosomes and Mitosis Chromosomes contain genetic information. Most cells in your body have a nucleus. The nucleus contains your genetic material in the form of chromosomes. Chromosomes are coiled up lengths of DNA molecules. Each chromosome carries a large number of genes. Different genes control the development of different characteristics. Body cells normally have two copies of each chromosome, one from the organism's mother and one from its father. The cell cycle makes new cells for growth, development and repair. Body cells in multicellular organisms divide to produce new cells as part of a series of stages called the cell cycle. Mitosis is the stage when the cell divides. Multicellular organisms use mitosis to grow or replace cells that have been damaged. The end of the cell cycle results in two new cells identical to the original cell with the same number of chromosomes. You need to know about these two main stages of the cell cycle. Growth and DNA replication. In a cell that is not dividing, the DNA is all spread out in long strings. Before it divides, the cell has to grow and increase the number of subcellular structures. It then duplicates its DNA, so there's one copy for each new cell. The DNA is copied and forms egg-shaped chromosomes. Each arm of the chromosome is an exact duplicate of the other. Mitosis Once its contents and DNA have been copied, the cell is ready for mitosis. The chromosomes line up at the center of the cell and cell fibers pull them apart. The two arms of each chromosome go to opposite ends of the cell. Membranes form around each of the sets of chromosomes. These become the nuclei of the two new cells. The nucleus has now divided. Lastly, the cytoplasm and cell membrane divide. The cell has now produced two new daughter cells. The daughter cells contain exactly the same DNA. The DNA is also identical to the parent cell. If you haven't already, please subscribe, like and share.